We're out on a little day trip to Lane Pool Reserve. Unfortunately not camping, we had planned to camp here but uh, tough to get in on the day as we want at the moment. So uh, just out to have a quick look around and pick out a campsite for when we do finally get up here. Beautiful tranquil spot at the moment. Not too many people around today, uh, being Mother's Day. Everybody's off doing other things. So it tends to clear them out of these sort of areas. And even though it's a Sunday, it's uh, nowhere near as packed as it usually is, although I would anticipate by lunchtime it'll probably start filling up a bit more. Now, we've already done a video on Landpool Reserve, so not going to be doing a lot of footage on the reserve itself in this video I'm actually here for something completely different and I'll be showing you that shortly G'day guys, Saturday morning again, so time for another video. Uh, another little 4x4 product to have a quick look at. Uh, what we got here is an air jack. Now I've had one of these oh, years ago. Never really made much use of it and I got rid of it. But I'm figuring if we want to do a bit more beach travelling, um, these things can be a pretty great way of getting yourselves quickly out of a really bad boggy situation. Uh, we got a couple of treads and uh, they can be pretty useful in sand but an air jack can really give you some assistance if you need to get things underneath the wheels and there's no other way of doing it it's a quick way of getting the car up off the ground getting the wheels up and uh, just putting something solid under your wheels uh, I don't know how much use they'd be in mud but uh, it'd be pretty messy I guess but um, and slippery but definitely in sand I think this is something I'm going to be happy to have in the back of the 4x4 just in case. So I'll just give you a quick look at what's inside the bag. So initially you've got some padding here that helps to protect the bag. You put one on the top and one on the bottom. Uh, just a bit of extra uh, insurance against getting a puncture. Up to four tonnes these ones will take and uh, with four tons you're not going to have four tons exactly sitting on there with a four-wheel drive but you're going to probably have pretty close to three so you don't want anything getting into this and damaging it otherwise you're going to have a pretty sharp deflation now with this mean mother kit you get some gloves and some patches and this is the hose this is the part that fits on your exhaust pipe, exhaust pipe goes in there, you run your pipe down to your air jack and this end here just clips in, you can see there's a seal around there, they clip in pretty tightly because you don't want any of the exhaust leaking out, um, your jack is just going to go flat if it does. And this is the air jack itself, as you can see they don't take up a hell of a lot of room and not too heavy, that's probably four and a half, five kilos maybe, all up. Uh, plastic bag, pretty solid stuff, it has to be because it's going to lift your car off the ground. And uh, you just unfold this. One of the things I found a little bit awkward about an air jack when I first had one was getting it flat and getting it easily set up. Now what I didn't realise at the time was what you need to do initially is just put a little bit of air in there and get this bag apart because when you're trying to get it underneath if you're trying to do it while it's been sucked down to a vacuum like this it's going to be a very hard job. So you need to put a little bit of air in first before you actually put it under the vehicle. You can see on the bottom of the bag here it has some spikes and that's just to help it gain a bit of grip on the ground.
Okay, so rule number one with these hoses is make sure you don't have any kinks in them. Otherwise it's just going to blow off your exhaust pipe. And I'll just show you what happens if you kink your hose. As you can see from that, the reaction is pretty quick. Okay, so a slight problem with the demo. Uh, what's happened is the extension strap here, or the extension, the extension pipe here, um, needs to have this little valve in it. It was missing. Now there were a couple of spares in the bag. This is a second-hand unit I've bought. Well, what I need to do, obviously, is to put a screw on top of that and a washer, probably, is to hold that in. So for the moment, um, the proper demo is off. But thankfully, the edge act comes with a little adapter that allows you to use it with your compressor and I'll just show you that now. Okay here it is very simple that goes straight onto the side of the bag and you've got a valve on top so like your ordinary tires you just bring your compressor line out to this pop this on the side of the bag and you'll be able to put it up that way. So we'll just do a uh, slightly better demo now without the hose that comes with the bag and use the air compressor. Now you want to get it as round as you can, as spherical as you can, so that when it goes up, it goes up as straight as possible. So ideally what you would do at this point is put one of your pads underneath the vehicle where you're going to place the jack, and the second pad on top of your bag. Then you would slip that underneath the vehicle. proper valve on there, so I suppose once you stop it shouldn't be a problem. Three hours later. Now as you saw from that little demonstration it takes quite a long time to pump it up with a compressor. Now there's a probably a good reason for using a compressor and not the exhaust because when you're jacking a car you want to do it as safely as possible and the slower the vehicle comes up the more time you're going to have to maneuver the jack and make sure it's coming up straight when you put the exhaust on there it comes up almost immediately very fast and if something goes wrong you're not really going to have the time to adjust anything so I think that's going to be our preferred method of using this ordinarily you're never going to have it pumped up to the level I've got it now it's going to be under the vehicle and compressed already so uh, you're probably only going to have it half that amount of air before it starts to lift the vehicle. There may be some situations where you do want to get it up quickly. Uh, for example, if you're bogged on a beach and the tide's coming in, so <laughs> you may not want to wait. That's when you would uh, whack the exhaust on and get it up as fast as you can. Well, that's it for another video. When and if we do get bogged, I guess you'll see us uh, actually get that under the vehicle and lift it up. It's not going to take anywhere near as much air to lift the vehicle because it's going to be compressed a lot more. But uh, hoping it's going to be useful if we ever need it. Uh, hoping even more that we never need it. Well, thanks for watching the video and uh, look forward to seeing you back here for our next video, hopefully next Saturday. We are running out of videos at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, scrabbling a little bit to get a trip done but uh, it hasn't happened we were due to get out to Wellington Dam but that didn't happen then we were trying to get out to Dwelling Up which is where we are today but this is only a day trip so no video on that one so um, 
hopefully there'll be another video out next Saturday and uh, if you like the channel subscribe down the bottom there just click that subscribe button and the bell icon make sure you get notified of any new videos that we do put up and if you like this video you find something in it uh, useful please just give it a like it helps the channel well that's it for now cheers see you later